let me get um let me get Q then sis. Um I just looked up the stat. The global divorce rate for arranged marriages is six percent. That's impressive. That's that's what I was thinking when I looked at it. And then in India it's four percent. It's very impressive. Is there is I mean, it I don't go ahead, that's... Mike. Do you, I'm just, do, you, do, you, do you understand what happens when an arranged marriage splits? Do you, do you know what happens? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's what I was going to say. It's, like it's, penalty, it's perjury. Like right. There's things that goes yeah. along with it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, whatever. I'm just saying that the, the rate <laughs> is the rate. And it's right. still impressive. It, it, I'm impressed by it. Like it is, but don't. But let's not put it I'm into a vacuum, though. Ham's all I'm saying. But I don't. I don't want to so, take away from it either. So let me. Let, can I? Can I? Bend it a little bit, nice. Let's. So let me lead by saying I like I. I do aspire to be married one day. However, is is the foundation of marriage the the primary emphasis or the primary point? in family structure you know what i'm saying like i get being married and creating and raising a family and so on and so forth but that can still be successfully done without the title of without being married you dig what i'm saying i know it's you know we just talked about the bible and all the other good stuff but in essence like two people can't be together live happily and raise children and have a solid family foundation no i don't think so okay that's the biggest threat to to our wealth as a community is is the lack of marriage because so much wealth has passed through marriages and, and generations i get that um you know what the biggest because mike the re and i think well what mike said i think is probably the most um t substantive reason but in relationships people assume that you're supposed to be happy all the time yep. right marriage you you right just with that contract you got to understand that happiness is not a given each and every day. Right. And people you assume that, that happiness is, a, that. is not even supposed to be on the top. Nah, duty, responsibility, purpose, all that. You know what I mean? Like happiness, I think is a little bit overrated and, and it's, you know, I disagree. It, yeah. I just think, yeah, I'm just saying, I just think it is like, and I'm not saying it's rated low, but it's, it's overrated sometimes because there's so many more valuable things that you could do with another person. I don't disagree in that regard, but isn't that the th like the reasoning behind a lot of divorces? I just wasn't happy. He wasn't making so, me happy. So, it's poor so, reasoning. Yeah. Society, oh no, without a doubt. Without a doubt. But I mean, yeah, yeah society has convinced you that happiness is a, is a, is a reason to, you know, stay married or, or lack of happiness is a reason to divorce yeah. or love. Um, or, or love. Yeah. So my my parents were in, in an arranged marriage. My mom says to me all the time, "What a privilege it is to marry for love." I mean, that that's just that's a very mm -hmm. Western thing. Um, it's it, it's a, it's a very new to Western tradition to marry for love. Yeah. Um, and then when you involve love, you 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 actually add more complex complexities to marriage because you're saying that if I'm not in love, or I fall out of love, therefore this marriage is not successful. But marriage has never been. Historically, about love, it's always, it's always been about combining communities and resources, again, wealth. Yep. And so, you know, we, when you see, and I see it in the comments too, I see people, somebody that was like, what about people that don't want to be married or, you know, not everybody wants to be married? I challenge that. I, I guarantee you, if you have 10 people that say they don't want to be married, it's none of them is because of a traumatic reason. Their parents probably had a shitty marriage. They can't find a mate. They've been screwed over enough times or they've given up on love. All of these reasons are, are are not a reason to not be married. You just have given up. And so I, I'm 36. I'm still trying to be married because I understand the importance generationally for, for having that unit. Yeah. Uh, Q, uh, Q and sis, y'all jump in. Um, Mike, I, st I was looking at this um, a study and I mentioned it to the ladies yesterday. It's kind of has something, I think what Mike just said, 80% um, of women, who are past um what was it uh child birthing age or something is that the right way to say it childbearing years you said childbearing years mm -hmm. wish they had a child mm -hmm. you know and a lot of them were well educated right they chased the bag as opposed to the you know um and i feel like that just kind of aligned with your point a little bit go ahead Q Trucks. sis final thought 
Uh, just have a good night, everybody. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> Word. Mary. Um, we need to keep trying to build stronger black families to help our black little boys and girls. Word. Ro? The remedy to fix the black community is to teach our children about the country that they live in and how to survive in it. Mm. Word. Q? Um, I'm with a black woman for real. My baby chocolate. <laughs> Y'all be safe. <laughs> Word. Sorry. No, yeah. my bad. Go ahead. <laughs> they like, ha ha. I know that's right. Big up. Um, <laughs> my final thought is black people open a book, read, educate yourself, understand politics, understand legislation, understand your people, understand who you are, um, understand where you came from so you can know where you're going. Um, just educate yourself. Education is so pivotal. Um, so that you can break the shackles of your mind off. Or Mike. You know, we have everything we need as a community to succeed. We got black colleges, black banks, chambers of commerce, businesses, apps, politicians. And it, it's really just, we need to start supporting each other and being unapologetically black. Or Mr. White. Um, <clears throat> let's continue to improve our communication with each other. Let's continue to show each other grace because black men are worth it. Black women are worth it. And together, there's nothing we can't do. Yeah, man. 100% agreed, man. I think all the sentiments tonight were valid because they, they a lot of people provided some substantive thought behind them, regardless if you agree or not. Right. I think entertainment is in disagreement, but at the end of the day, you still got to hear it. I think I think that's the key. Um, yeah. So, you know, I know Adrian touched on it, but I don't think the church is the answer. But if we can agree on a particular set of instructions, I think we would be much better off. Um, I'll give you guys one gem. You could throw it out if you want to. If you go to Exodus 22, verse 16, sex is marriage. I wish I would have known that before I start busting all these chicks down. It's a lot of them too. Shit like that. Shit so like that. Shit like imagine that. Imagine how like much that. different like life that. would be if we all knew that and conducted ourselves in that way. You feel me? Just, just, just a little something. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And we out. <laughs>